As you start to look at this, and you know, I don't mean to jump right into mm -hmm. it, but um, it is so important for, for, yeah. for them to plan. And, you know, I must relate it to, you know, myself in my 20s. You know, I, you, you have a S on your chest. You think you're mm -hmm. Superman. Nothing's going to happen. Then all of a sudden something does happen or something happens to someone close to you around that age. You're like, whoa. You know what yes. I mean? It's like that's, that's where reality kind of sets in. And then you realize, hey, look, I have a responsibility beyond myself. I have a responsibility to my family, my mm -hmm. loved ones, my kids, to make sure that everything is in good order, that they are taken care of, that I'm not leaving them. Sadly, we see this from time to time, a little bit of a mess. And you yeah, don't want yeah, that. Yeah. And the nature of uh, planning and estate planning and, and what first responders, how, they, how that intersects, is that estate planning is getting ahead of the problem. Um, not being reactive and That's reacting it, proactive. after. Yeah, yes. so the, the, the ideal um, kind of psychology of someone to approach this is to say, I'm going to get ahead of this problem while I'm healthy and well. And first responders who are actively serving are generally healthy and well and young and uh, extremely insurable for things such as life insurance and um, tend to have younger families and uh, certainly need to get that plan in advance with things like trusts and and the appropriate suite of documents to support that. Well, that was what I was going to ask because I, I know Dave just mentioned, hey, you know, a lot of times they're talking about wills and things like that. And I know wills are appropriate in some cases, but... Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what are some of the yeah. tools, or you know, is a will the best path? I mean, maybe you can expand a little bit upon that, so then the folks listening, whether they're a first responder or not, you know, maybe they're thinking of their situation and putting this into light. Mm -hmm. So um, ultimately, a will is appropriate to perhaps uh, for the simplest of estates and also to name um, guardians for minor children. So often first responders will have young ones in the family. Um, and it's so important to make sure that it's clear as to who their guardians will be. That's found in a will. Aside from that, um, as far as passing assets and wealth from person to person, trusts are always going to be better than wills, in my opinion, sure. except for the most modest of a state. Um, there's so many different varieties of trusts that we'd want to meet with those first responders. And I know that um, a, a good kind of in, encapsulated version of, of, of the discussion is also something that, that Dave was kind enough to put together in the form of an ebook for first responders. But essentially, we want to talk about um, you know, using trusts as the tools of the trade in my profession to help first responders plan appropriately. Yeah, and we definitely want to make that ebook available to anyone that is um, listening to this podcast. So what we'll do is we'll add it into the show notes so then folks can download it and read it or at their convenience.